Dubai healthcare. Is it as good as back home in the United States, in Canada, any European country, Australia, wherever you come from, if you're moving to Dubai and you're moving also your family to Dubai, you might be concerned with how good the doctors are, where they are trained, how good is the insurance, the different plans that you have here. I'll tell you my personal experience going to the doctor multiple times here in Dubai, as well as in other countries, as well as friends of mine that have had surgery here in Dubai. What was their experience? and what could be your experience using doctors and overall the healthcare system here in Dubai. First of all, getting an appointment with a doctor or a surgeon here in Dubai. In many countries around the world, for example, in the UK or Canada, if you're used to a socialist model of healthcare, then you're used to waiting a month, two months, six months, years for an appointment, for a surgery, for a transplant, for many different things. Here in Dubai, it is a commercial style of healthcare. It is for profit. There is no system where you pay taxes and then you get healthcare from the back of it. Yes, you have health insurance just to cover some cost, but most doctors here, most clinics, most hospitals, they are made to make profit. So they want to provide a service just like Wealthy Expat. We help you move to Dubai. We'll help you set up a company here. We help you get banking. The same thing with hospitals and doctors. So when you call a hospital, they want to get you an appointment as soon as possible because they know if they don't do that, you're going to call another hospital, another clinic and get an appointment there. So let's say you want to go to the dermatologist. A couple of weeks ago, I flew from Singapore to the Maldives and I caught some very strange virus on the way and I had crazy, crazy rash all over my body. I thought it was chicken pox. It turned out to be some subtropical variant of a virus. And I went to a dermatologist to check what that was. I called the dermatologist around 9 a.m. I got an appointment around 12. I went to the clinic. It was the Dubai Marina Clinic here in Dubai Marina. You also have Emirates clinics. You have King's clinics. You have many different clinics all over Dubai. I'm going to put down in the description the ones that I personally have experienced with the doctors that I personally have experience with also with urologists. I have experience just to do normal checkups also with general practitioners and different doctors in Dubai that my clients have experience with. I will put them in the description. I got my appointment. The doctor analyzed me. He checked me. It took about 20, 30 minutes. When I actually arrived at the clinic, I waited about eight or 10 minutes. It was very fast, very clean, very well taken care of. As I said, it's all run as a business. So it is not from the social system. They care about the cleanliness. They care about your experience. You pay more, you get VIP treatment and so on. Just like every other service, every business out there. After the doctor, he gave me some medication to take care of the rash and take care of the dermatology problem. I took the medication. I went to the pharmacy downstairs. They're all connected. So depending on which clinic you go, which hospital you go, they always have a pharmacy about one minute walk, two minute walk or in the same building and their systems are connected. You might be used to this in the United States or in Canada where the systems are connected. You go to the clinic, then it sends it to the pharmacy and then you buy it at the pharmacy. Then I went to the pharmacy. I bought it. I paid a lot of money for it. And then I got those pills and I took them and everything was fine after. No problems. It didn't turn into a worse rash. Nothing like that. One doctor's visit on the same day that I booked it. A couple of hours later, everything was solved. And when I explained this to some people that come from Western countries, their mind blows up because they're used to calling a doctor, waiting hours for a reply. Then they call them back. They say, come next week for an appointment. They said, no, but I'm in pain right now. Okay, go to the emergency room at the hospital and good luck. Clinics, doctors in general, they don't care that much. They're getting paid by the government. It's not something where they want to provide a better service to you because they just truly don't care. They're not going to make much money off it. Here, you pay a lot more for healthcare. So for example, for a doctor's appointment like that, you would pay $300, $400 out of pocket. I usually pay out of pocket. I don't like calculating insurance, calculating payback. So I just pay whatever I have to pay. If there's a surgery, you pay out of pocket, maybe a couple thousand dollars, but you get the best treatment literally that you could possibly get in the world. Most doctors in Dubai, they are certified by the American board of whatever specialty, American board of cardiology, of dermatology, of whatever. They were trained in Canada, in the UK, in Australia. You don't have some Arab doctor trained in Algeria that is randomly coming to Dubai and providing services to you. No, they're trained by the American board. They have their certificates. They have their diploma. They usually worked somewhere else. So for example, we met a doctor that worked five years in New York and he was treating patients in New York, then moved to Dubai because he was going to make more money in Dubai. And now he gives the same service that he was giving in New York. Now he gives it here and he has experience with many people 
with different situations all over the world. And also the doctors here are quite experienced. You'll typically see older doctors move here, older than 50, for example, they have decades of experience treating different diseases and they'll be very helpful to you. When it comes to booking a surgery, because recently one of my clients had a surgery that is very personal. So it's a very personal surgery, but he had that surgery and he asked me, what doctor do you recommend for this specific case? I sent him a doctor. He booked an appointment the same day. He got the surgery booked about four or five days later because he had an urgent problem. The surgery was done a couple of days after the surgery. Everything went fine. If he were to do this in the UK, as you can see in the message here, it would take weeks, months. They just don't care that you have that problem. They don't care that it's urgent. Just wait for the system to work for you. Wait for the doctor to reply to you here. You call, you get the appointment, you get the surgery done and everything goes smoothly. When it comes to pharmacies here in Dubai, they're pretty similar to the doctors. They work as a business. So most things will be more expensive than what you pay back home. Obviously here you don't pay taxes, so it's definitely going to be worth it. If you're a wealthy person, wealthy individual, you will pay a little bit more, you get better service, you get a better treatment. That's just how life works. At the pharmacies, typically they have more things available over the counter than they do back in your Western country. So it is not as restricted, as regulated with a lot of different medications. I'm not an expert in pharmacology. I'm not an expert in Dubai pharmacies. But from my personal experience, what I can say is that there are more things available. For example, if you wanna get TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, that is still under prescription, that is still regulated. So it's not that everything is available, that is regulated, but a lot of things are much more readily available than in your home country, specifically Europe, where you need a prescription and the doctor's letter to get whatever pill. Here, usually Europeans come to get their pills and then they go back home with their pills because they know they can't get them back home. When it comes to health insurance and life insurance, I typically recommend my clients to go to insurancemarket.ae. There you can put what conditions you have, what different packages you want, or how many people are in your family. So if you have four children aged less than 10 years, then it's gonna be a different package than somebody that is just a single guy or a guy with his girlfriend. So go to that website, input everything. They're not a sponsor or anything. They're just legitimately the one that I use and you'll get insurance from that it'll be a couple hundred dollars maximum one thousand dollars a month if you have a very small child so some of my clients they come with children two months old six months old then it's obviously going to be a lot more because there's a higher risk but you get what you pay for you're going to get amazing insurance if you pay good money and you can also get insurance directly from your company so where you incorporate the company and the authority that we work with they also provide insurance for yourself for your family for your life and also for your business if you're looking to have business insurance as well on top of that insurance again it's going to be more than what you pay in your home country we're going to get a lot more from it and a lot better system for healthcare here in dubai if you're looking to move to dubai and bring your family your business your investments to dubai you definitely want to check out this video right here on the ultimate guide to moving to Dubai and everything you need to know about living here in Dubai and the UAE. Check it out right now.